Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm right here in Switzerland at Lorenz Age and I have with me one of the most interesting van on the market today. This is the future guys here. This is one of the first electric van, camper van in the world and today I will review it. I will show you every single detail of this EQV camper van and also to be honest it has a great price and I'm really looking forward to see more and more uh, electric camper van on the market and because it's summer and because people will go in holiday more often this is the perfect video the perfect presentation and today it's a perfect day to show you an electric camper van first of all guys before we go forward if you want to see more of the newest car on the market click the subscribe button and also turn on the notification to see all the new videos that will come uh, on the channel before we start the reviewing before i show you in the interior uh, also i want to tell you that you have the link in the description if you are in switzerland around switzerland you can check them out you can see the prices you can see the car and you can see more detail from lawrence lawrence working in collaboration with yellow camper in switzerland right here to create this uh, car and you will see it's really interesting i want to tell you that this eqv camper van it's based on the normal mercedes eqv 300 and i will give you the technical data right now so you will know uh, which kind of car uh, we have here so first of all i want to tell you that the car come with a power of 204 horsepower, 362 Newton meters. It's a front wheel drive and also it's connected with a one speed automatic transmission CVT. This is a special transmission for electric cars. The estimated range VLTP 363 kilometers. This is the estimated range in real in the winter time. You can expect less in the summer depend how you're driving depend where you're driving uh, you can get some good consumption but i think you can expect around 330 uh, kilometers there you can expect the consumption of the car 26.3 kilowatt hour also the maximum charging power 110 kilowatt hour in dc also you can charge it at 11 kilowatt hour at fast charging station or you can charge it at home at a normal socket but you will need probably more hours also the car have a battery capacity 100 kilowatt hour but 90 kilowatt hour will be the usable battery now the maximum speed of the car 160 kilometer per hour the length of the car it's 5 meter and 40 centimeter the width 1 meter and 92 centimeter the height of the car 1 meter 90 centimeters and also in the front come with ventilated brake discs on the rear normal discs and also the car have 17 inch rims and they look pretty nice with the car I think they are just perfect on the front the car have independent McPherson suspension with coil spring and until roll bar and in the rear also the car have independent suspension now uh, that I give you the technical data let me give you the price and all that information so for example if you come here at Lorenz in Switzerland guys this is the only place where you can buy the car you can see that the starting price of the car if you want to buy just the normal Mercedes EQV uh, 300 you will see it's around 73,000 francs but uh, with all that packages with all that yellow camper uh, added on it total price of the car will be around 109,000 and great thing is that it has a great uh, discount right here uh, and you can see uh, you have around 9,000 francs discount so the final price will be 107,689 francs it's a great price for what the car can offer and also keep in mind that in this price they offer you the installation of a um, box wall box so uh, they will install you at home in a wall box so you can uh, charge your home you, you are good to go i mean uh, when you buy the car they will come to you and they will also install the wall box so you will be able to charge at fast charging station with 11 kilowatt hours so yeah in my opinion it's a great price now that you know the price you know all those information i think it's time to go to review the car we will go outside exterior interior i will show you every single detail about this car so yeah 
let's do it. All right, guys, so now let's start with the exterior design. Actually, the exterior design is the same as the normal Mercedes EQV. It's based on the same car, only the changes that you will see are different. Now, first of all, the back of the car look quite nice. You can see right here EQV 300 logo on the side, so you know which model and which version it is. The car comes also with a 360 degrees camera, so you will see you will have a camera here, also LED lights on the number plate. If you look a little bit in the back, you can see that the car comes with six sensors, uh, parking sensors in the back. Also, the sensor on the side are for blind spot technology. Also, some light reflectors on the down part. And other than that, also, you have a big tinted window in the back. A roof spoiler look nice in, in glossy black plastic. Uh, the brake light is here. And also, the great part is that you have the opportunity to open this area here on the upper side. So, for example, when you stay in the bed, when you go outside on the camping plats, you can open this up and you can leave more air to go inside here. So yeah, this is a great, great option. Or also you can open uh, all the door just like that. And then you have the possibility to go inside here, but I will show you a little bit later. Now let me finish with the exterior design of the car. Uh, going a little bit on the side here. Also, by the way, the car comes with full LED lights and they look really nice. I like these three parallel lines. Also, the turning signals, it's LED. The reverse light, uh, it's LED. And also, the fog lamps are LED lights. So, overall, it looks really, really nice. I like very much the way Mercedes designed this car. On the side here, the same story. Big windows, tinted windows on the upper side. The car comes with 17-inch rims. Also, those rims are special for electric cars. They are kind of flat for a better aerodynamic. And the car come with brake discs in the back. I don't know if you can see it so well, but keep in mind, brake discs there. And on the down part here, you have some kind of plastic in the same color as the car. So this plastic protect the down part of the car. Also uh, under the car, uh, as you probably know, is the battery, uh, that 100 kilowatt hour battery. Uh, it's all under the floor. So it's like a skateboard, like all the new uh, electric cars are built on the same platform. On the side, you have the EQV logo right there. Uh, up here, you can see uh, the mirror in glossy black plastic. You have LED lights on the blinkers. You have a camera for 360 degrees camera system. And then you have an LED light down here to illuminate the floor in the nighttime. And if you look on the side of the mirror, you can see the blind spot technology right here in the corner. And you have quite a big, big mirror. So you have a great, great visibility. So yeah, in the front, the same story, same rims. Uh, this time we have ventilated brake discs. Uh, right there and the brake discs in the front are a little bit bigger also on the windshield right there the car come with a camera for reading the traffic speed limit lane assist all that uh, sensors for the lights and for the rain and in the front right here also quite nice design uh, we have full LED lights, uh, low beam, high beam LED, turning signals LED, and also this is the kind of the latest uh, system in terms of uh, LED lights. I like very much also the chrome, the way they design the, the, the front bumper here, a lot of chrome. Also on the grill, on the front grill, uh, you have that Mercedes big logo right here in the middle. Behind the logo, you have the radar for adaptive cruise control, emergency brake, and all that safety features. You have the camera down here for 360 degrees cameras and other than that glossy plastic chrome air intakes to cool down the engine on the down part the same story you have some air intakes and of course you have uh, six sensors uh, in the front for parking and also for blind spot technology also here in the front you have the charging port that it's here guys and as you can see here uh, the car come with uh, DC, uh, the maximum charging power 110 kilowatt, uh, but also you can charge it at uh, AC 11 kilowatt hour uh, at the fast charging station, or you can charge it at home, but you will need more hours. If you charge it at maximum uh, charging power in DC with 110 uh, kilowatt hour, you can expect around 15 minutes to charge it from zero to 90%. So yeah, it's, it's really fast. Uh, also, uh, as I tell you, the range of the car around 360 uh, kilometer, it's estimated range. It's quite okay. I'm not sure uh, on the long trips if that will be uh, enough, but 
yeah, I guess you should make uh, a little bit more uh, stops and yeah, that should be fine. Okay, overall guys, this is the exterior design. On the roof, I want to tell you uh, that they install here some kind of black glossy uh, spoiler and that help when you're driving on the highway at high speeds if you put down the roof guys uh, you will see that this helped the aerodynamic of the car to be somehow aerodynamic just like that and then the air will float around it right now you cannot see it because it's open uh, and i just open it up up there is the bed i open it up because i want to show you the way it looks and also here guys in this area on the roof you have they install a solar panel that it's also installed but yellow camper and lawrence and you have it right there and that allow you to use it for different stuff also this is included in price that solar roof now if you open the trunk right here you have a light you have the handle and then let me show you what they they install here now you can see right here you have the bed i will show you from the interior when we go and look at this guys they just install those parts right here and look at this you can take this out like that you are in the camper uh, place and look how easy it is to 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 pull this up like that and then let me show you here in this area you have kind of a kitchen area where you can cut your 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 things and then put your stuff here uh, if you go down you have a, a empty space a huge empty space guys where you can put different uh, stuff for the kitchen for example then going forward down here you have uh, the water here you have the water this is the reserve for the water and here is the shower I mean you can install this on the on the car right here on the side and you can put the shower there and you can make a shower from here it's super simple and the electricity and the power for the shower will come from here you can turn it on and the electricity will come from the solar roof so how cool is that um, now let's go forward on the upper side you have here the let me show you you can cook right here just like that look at this you can open this up just like that and here you can cook um, your dinner wherever uh, you want to cook you can do that right here great let's go forward now here in this area you have the um, fridge also it's uh, powered by the solar panel so the fridge will keep your things cold and if you put your hand uh, here i can put the hand it's already cold it's work uh, non-stop because it's connected with the solar panel and yeah it's work all the time so how cool is that also you have this space here up here where for example you can eat or you can put your different stuff right here so in my opinion it's a great great idea and it's nice the way they they design it now let me put it back just like that it's super simple then you put this uh, back this is the safety while you're driving so they are not jumping around here and there and then yeah pretty cool and then let me go forward let me show you the rest of the car um, close this up here the great part is that you can open the doors on the both sides you can open it up here and you can open it up also on the other side and yeah this is the space here mercedes-benz logo at the entrance it's in with led lights the carpet it's really really good quality then you have the possibility to turn around the seats just like that the driver's seats and also the passenger seat can be turned around like this and then you can stay four person here without any problem uh, and you can also eat right here let me show you something cool you can go from here look at this you can move this around also you can have it like this in this position when you're driving it is in this position you have some storage space kind of cup holders and yeah the space here in the car it's, it's really huge but look at this guys you have the possibility to put it in the middle you stop the car you want to eat look at this look at this guys and you have a table right now how cool is that it's incredible huh you have a table right here you can put your stuff you can eat you can do wherever you want right here in this space you have also some storage spaces here uh, it's great i mean it's a great pleasant place to be here uh, yeah pretty nice now let me put it back look how easy you put everything back in one second you put it back just like that one 30 seconds 
everything is back in the position. Now, let me show you something really cool. If you go all the way back with the seats, then from here, you fall down the seats, just like that, fall down these seats as well. Look at this, a few seconds. You can take out those headrests, put it here, take out the headrest, put it here. Look at this, you have here, All right, and then down here you have some, some legs. I don't know if I can take it out. Just like that, you have a leg here, and then you have another leg right here. Look at this, you have two legs, and then you have the bed, guys. Okay, you can pull up the bed, just like that. It's just gorgeous the way the, the place look right here. Uh, you can sleep here without any problem. Uh, and also up here, right now it's raining outside. So you can see you have kind of a uh, window right here in plastic. Then you have some kind of net, for example, for insects and stuff like that, uh, that they cannot go inside. Up here you have another bed, let me show you, where you can sleep and you can sleep here without any problem. I mean, you can sleep four person here without any, any problem. Four people, uh, adult people can drive with this car and can be inside this car uh, without any problem. So it's, it's really, really cool, really cool. Look at this, guys. Anyway, let me put everything back and let's go forward. All right, guys, I just put everything back and now let's go forward to show you here. For example, on the roof, you have very good quality. I can feel already this, this uh, material quality. It's really, really good. Also, you have LED lights, handles, hooks. You have a big window here, great visibility when you stay on your seat. Uh, right now, you have this sticker with the advertising, but usually you have very, very good visibility on the windows. Also, in the back here, you have these magnetic things that will come standard if you buy the car uh, from them you can see right there you have a nice big window and also come a lot of light inside but in the nighttime it's also more recommended to have it like that also another handle another LED light up here and yeah overall this is the interior of the car you can see one more time here also you have some storage space here behind the seats also you have the possibility to take these seats a little bit forward. I will need two hands, but you can also adjust the seats in every position you want. You can put it all the way in the front, all the way in the back. And then when you're driving, uh, you can stay, for example, like that. And then in the back here, you can have a lot of storage space, your baggage, your luggage, or whatever you want. Also, you have some 12 volt ports here, some storage spaces here. Uh, this is the cable that comes standard with the car, so you can charge the cable at a uh, fast charging station. And also under there, you have some storage space for your uh, luggages. So really, really uh, practical. Also, you can install two child seats here on the back seat. So uh, that's a great, great thing. So overall, this is the interior, guys. Really spacious, really practical. Behind the front seat, some plastic, some storage space here. Down here, you have some vents. And then also the great part is because of the solar uh, panel from up there, uh, you have down here installed by them, by Yellow Camper, uh, you have a 1200 volt socket. So you can charge your laptop uh, or you can do whatever you want. Uh, with that socket. So that's really, really cool. Uh, and keep in mind that you have it on the car. Also here on the right side, you have the information about the solar panel. Let me zoom in a little bit. So from here, uh, you can change and you can see how it's charging, how much battery, how much power from the sun come. Keep in mind that those infos, you have it here on the right side, on the passenger. You have handle, you can open the door from here, but I already made a full review with this EQV 300. If you want to find out more, there you find in the other video, uh, more information about the car. The car is the same. I just want to present you the camper part. Now in the front, you have fabric material seats. Also, you have this, uh, armrest right here you have a lot of storage space here in the middle also you have some storage space here two usb uh, c port you have a 12 volt port right here two cup holders plenty of space there the glow box let me show you quite big glow box here a lot of space uh, and then i like very much the design of the car soft material everywhere on the dash there and also it, it's, it has a nice nice design i love the design of the car i love those turbine vents from mercedes really good quality and everything look nice really really nice 
very modern, very nice. This is the key from the car. You can lock and unlock the car. And also you have to use it as a classic key to actually have to stick it in there. Let me go in the position. Uh, by the way, those are the seats, fabric material seats, simple seats, normal and classic for the vans. Let me go slowly inside here on the driver's side. Uh, you have great visibility, big mirrors, great visibility around the windows. And also here you have a big mirror, good visibility on the upper side. I like very much those LED lights design, the way they, they create it, look really good. Also you have a glass support here. And then here you have a mirror, you have an LED light up there. And then you have a handle and this good quality roof. The steering wheel, it's also nice. Leather steering wheel, very good quality, very good grip. Uh, also, you can adjust it manually from down there, up, down, forward, backward. And then here you have the cruise control stick. From here you can adjust the cruise control. Then here you have the gear shifter uh, stalk. So parking, reverse, yeah, like Mercedes. I think you already know that. Let me start the motor. Uh, and right now the, the motor is on. And yeah, the only downside maybe something that I wish to be different is this cockpit. I wish to be the new digital cockpit. But other than that, there you have a lot of information right there uh, in the front about the car. So you can change it, uh, for example, from here. You can change different information about the car. Actually, right now, uh, the door in the back, it's open so let me close it that way you cannot see so many information but also the doors quality are very good when you close the door it really feels uh, great great quality and also the sound insulation in the car it's very good now on the screen you have some information about the kilometers about the consumption about the range for example right here you can see 350 uh, kilometer range all kind of information is not that uh, complicated is not that fancy as on the digital cockpit but it still uh, do the job perfectly electronic handbrake it's here uh, the lights controllers are here also the lane assist and also this button is for 360 degrees camera if you press that button you can see on the screen 360 degrees cameras right here the resolution of the cameras are very good so you can see what is around the car even though you have a huge van you can park it without any problem with those cameras so yeah that's something impressive and i like it it's a must have on these kind of cars other than that very nice integrated the uh, climatic system right here buttons physical button you can go to the menu from here very simple it comes with kind of the latest is not the latest is not like the s class or the new c class but this is the m box multimedia system it's kind of the latest is multimedia system from a van mercedes van and here you have the phone you have the navigation that's work really really good also you have a glossy touch screen here that it's really responsive and the navigation work really good then going to home you can see it's very responsive you have the radio you have the media here you have the eq uh, this is special only for electric cars and here you have a lot of information uh, you can see where are the charging stations for example where you can find them also departure time you can schedule your charging maximum charging status then you can see the consumption on the upper side right here consumption and information about the car statistics and stuff like that then you can see the energy flow it's a nice graphic that show you how the energy is flowing between the battery and and the motor then you can see also how much battery you have the vehicle information here you can see uh, all kind of information owners manual and stuff like that so on the eq you have all that settings uh, about the electric parts then you have the mercedes me and apps here and then you have the settings the settings of the car where you can change different settings for example uh, the doors the mirrors if you go to the lights you can change the ambient lights inside the car um, and all kind of stuff uh, system here on the system you have the display you have the language you have the audio time and date and software updates system information and yeah i have a special video with this multimedia system if you want to see it uh, check it out guys it's already on the channel but i like how nice they integrated you have a great visibility from the driver point of view great driving position and it's easy to drive this car really really easy going down a little bit you have also from the dynamic mode here you can change the different driving modes and you can see on the screen you can see right here you have the echo comfort and sport mode you have three different uh, driving modes let me zoom in a little bit so you can see the comfort echo and sport 
So yeah, depending on which mode you are and also the maximum range, it's an extra. So you have sport, comfort, echo and maximum range. Maximum range is when you want to have maximum, maximize the range of the battery. So uh, no climatic system, no extra stuff that you don't need in the car. So you can leave it like that when you need uh, to maximize your range. Here are parking sensors. Here is the volume. Here is the close the multimedia system. And here is the controller, of course, for the multimedia system. You don't have to always use the touchscreen because you can use it also um, just like that. So yeah, I guess this was the review guys. This is the car as a rating from 1 to 10, uh, 10 being maximum. I will give it um, 9.5. I like very much the quality. I like the space. I like uh, what they did inside there. A lot of uh, technical and safety features. I like the safety features of the car. I like that the car come with lane assist, emergency brake, adaptive cruise control, 360 degrees camera, parking sensors. Also this multimedia system, it's great. The design and the quality materials, it's great. Uh, also the way it's driving and the way it looks in the back there is just gorgeous. So 9.5 will be uh, my rating. I wish the range to be a little bit bigger. If this van, camper van, will be able in the future, for example, the EQV Mercedes to make some vans that will be able to drive uh, 500 kilometers, then will be just perfect. I mean, uh, a little bit more range will be perfect for this car. But other than that, amazing quality. Love the car, love what Yellow Camper did with this car. Uh, they did a great job and I think the price is relatively good for what this car can offer. I hope it was useful for you if you are on the market for an uh, electric van. I think this is the future. I think in the future we'll see more and more uh, electric vans, electric cars on the market. Thank you very much, guys. I hope it was useful. Uh, don't forget to check out our website, sdadancar.com. There you find a lot of information, articles uh, about cars and videos. Also, if you have questions, just ask me down below. Maybe I forget to add something in the video. Also, guys, uh, if you want to buy the car, if you are in Switzerland, around Switzerland, I will leave the link in the description so you can come here at uh, Lawrence Auto in Switzerland so you can buy it you can test drive it you can see the car the link is in the description anyway that was the video thank you very much for watching I really appreciate it, guys don't forget to like share and subscribe and until next time I guess I see you soon in the next bye guys